When we say that we are evidence-based, what we mean is that we're using the best available evidence along with our clinical expertise and judgment in collaboration with patients and their preferences to achieve optimal patient outcomes. These are outcomes that merit reimbursement. Let's step back from that definition and examine its implications. Let's first talk about best and what it implies. First, for me, it implies that we can justify that the quality, that is the rigor, the strength of the evidence, the magnitude of the evidence, is as good as it currently gets. This implies that evidence has been judged and appraised. Now available implies that someone has searched far and wide for what exists and that that search process, process was exhaustive. Let's use an analogy. If you buy a car and you're interested in that crash rating, you want to know first of all what the crash rating is, but also what it means, what that crash rating means. And finally you want to know that that car has been exhaustively tested if you're going to purchase and drive it and put your family in there. I think we need to ask the very same of the information we use to make clinical decisions. We need to know how good the evidence is and where it comes from and that it represents the best of what we know now. Clinical expertise for me is the glue of what makes evidence-based practice work. But clinical expertise does not mean just experience. Rather, it should be made explicit and reflect the wisdom that comes from reflective practice and the merit of that clinical expertise should also be judged like the evidence. Finally, patient preferences implies that the patient wishes have been explored, informed, and honored. So we need to know what the patient wants and there are now tools that are emerging that allow for shared decision making. That is providing patients with the information reflective again of the strength and the magnitude of the evidence so they can be equal partners in decisions about their health. The goal is to net the best possible patient-centered outcomes and knowing what those outcomes are with confidence in both the objective data as well as the subjective experience of patients. Evidence-based practice has been our mantra for at least the last two decades and we are making progress with both the progress and the goals of evidence-based practice. In order to live up to that promise or our pledge of evidence-based practice, we must uncover and make more transparent what the quality and the magnitude of the evidence is. And we need to do that when and for those that count in the experience. This means connecting the quality and the magnitude of the evidence in an easy to access way. And I mean easy to access both technically and intellectually or cognitively. So that's easy to get to and easy to understand. Providers need this at the point of care and when they engage patients in decision making. So we need the best tools and better tools that deliver that information when we are in the midst of making those decisions.